Hey there, friendlies. How's up? Welcome to another episode of Dribs and Drowns. What we're looking at today is the Iron Sherry Cask, otherwise known as the Bodega. Yas. Um, this is apparently 100% um, aged in sherry casks, so that's interesting. Um, what that's going to... You know what? Let's open it up. Let's let it sit while we talk. Get out the hacks. You can do a little bit of slippy slippy. There we go. Jesse's favorite axe. All right. So there we go. I'm just shooting this on a phone. I have my daughter's iPad here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, until I have an editing machine, these videos are going to be quite basic. It's okay. It's the content that counts. Am I right? I'm looking forward to getting back into my fancier editing and shooting, though. Okay. You know what? Let's talk about something interesting here. I love the new look, okay? I think this new branding is spot on, especially... Yes, okay. Especially because the old Aaron branding was so bad. This, you know, when I was doing the uh, the Alberta Premium, I was like, "Wow, great whiskey." Too bad about the uh, you know dollar store look. This is not a, a very. This look sort of screams nineteen ninety two to me. Like it's not classic in the cool classic look. You know how Ardbeg looks old fashioned, but it kind of works. This, this is exactly the look that I just kept passing and passing because, um, but the new look and feel is crazy nice. Uh, not a really good pop. That's a little looser than I'd like it to be, but you know what? This bottle might not last long enough for that to become an issue. <clears throat> Another thing I really like about it is the fact that there's Braille here. I think that was a really cool choice. Just very, oop, I don't want to look at the tasting notes. <laughs> tasting notes right there. Um, what's not on here for all the cool stuff, like for instance, it's got the, la the latitude and longitude of the, uh, either the island or of the distillery of uh, La Granza. What they don't have on here is an age statement. Um, so what else does it have? How many check boxes are we going to check off here? Uh, it's a single malt. Okay, so that's one. It is absolutely non-chill filtered and natural color. Right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Note to other distilleries. That's really cool. Okay. And now because it's non-chill filtered and natural color, we know that that is a sherry cask in action right there. Look at that. Aside from that, what are we at? 55.8%. So, hell yeah. I like it. That's that's a cask strength bottle right there, um, and the fact that there's no age statement. Okay, I don't get you know we don't check that off, but everything else is checked off, and apparently I'm going to really like this this beverage. So I'll tell you what, that's a beautiful color, and I'm not someone who needs my whiskey to be a dark amber, right? If it's done that way naturally, I love it. If the natural color is more of a straw color or a paler, I love that as well. I like the look of natural coloring. Kind of almost no matter what the shade is, you know? Uh, I'm looking for the tears. Looks like it's got some nice body to it. Um, I'm a guy who never really liked the Sherry Balm, okay? I, I, I didn't really like uh, Sherry whiskeys very much. I tried and tried and tried, but lately, um, because I've been expanding my horizon in many, many ways, I've become much sherry friendlier, shall we say. So it looks nice. It looks like I'm going to have a nice uh, mouthfeel on there. Let's give it a, get it under the schnoz, shall we? Okay, so there's sweet. Um, because it's sherry, I'm getting some dark fruit. Like almost a plum, maybe. 
some dark chocolate maybe. There's definitely that European oak spice to it. But yeah, a lot of very familiar sherry notes. Uh, not sure if I'm getting a cherry or some kind of a dark berry in there. Very nice on the nose, but still like there's a lot of darkness there, but there's still a fresh freshness to it. So I don't like to go all the way in when it's a cask strength because I don't want to blow out my, uh, my senses right off the bat. Yeah. I wonder if there's a little leather in there. It's hard to tell. Very nice. Oh yeah, really nice nose. All right, let's do the palette, shall we? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Sort of a cooked brown sugar. Definitely like a bowl of berries. Uh, there's a cherry thing in there. There's the, maybe a bit of a blackberry. Uh, like a dark fruits. I'm getting plum, but I'm getting a lot of caramel. I'm getting a dark chocolate. Maybe a baking chocolate. That European oak spice that I was sort of getting on the nose is like, it's right there. It's very, very nice. I keep thinking that I'm getting a leather thing, but then it, it goes away. So I'm not sure. Um, there's a maltiness there. I'm gonna do it again at the nose. Now that I've tasted it, I'm just gonna keep talking and doing this, right? Still a freshness, balancing off the, the darker elements. Maybe like a seaside vegetation kind of, there's a vegetal thing going on. Not huge, it's not overtaking all the other stuff, the, the orchard, you know, the, the plums and stuff, but it's there. Let's do another little tasting. Such a nice mouthfeel. There's oiliness there. Oh, it's present. It's like it's a hug on the tongue. Oh, Aaron, you guys do good work. It looks beautiful. It's beautiful on the nose. It's beautiful on the mouth. And the finish is long. It, it's just, it's still there. I'm still getting the, the brown sugar, um, the, the, the caramels. That spice is still just sitting there. Like... It's not going away. So good. Eight, a strong eight. I may have to go to like uh, grading these on a hundred because this is a way stronger eight than some of the eights I've given it before. <clears throat> 8.5. No, 8.5. So good. No age statement, no problem. So let's destroy it, shall we? Little bit of water. Give it a, just a quick... You don't need to be all like dramatic with the swishy, swishy swishy when you add the water. Just let it roll around a bit. It's taking some of the life out of it, to be honest with you. You know, when I, when we water it down and it takes some of the life out of it, as I was saying, it's not destroying the whiskey, but it's bringing it down closer to that 40% mark that I just find so boring. 43 is still just, you know, they've thrown a little bit of effort in, but it's still, you know, as far as whiskey goes, it's still, you know, acceptable. He said before even tasting it. Yeah, so on the nose, um, Many of the same notes. Something has dropped out, though. I'm getting a little less spice on the nose, strangely. That'll get fixed on the palate, I'm pretty sure. Um, <clears throat> still brown sugar. A bit of the caramel. Some of the fruitiness has gone away, though. Definitely not as interesting. Much spikier. The orchard fruit, that's sort of dropped out. 
Still a lot of that caramel and sweet stuff. Less interesting. Still good. Still a capable bottle. Um, a little less interesting. Uh, the oiliness has dropped out a little bit, but it's still present. Um, and the finish is actually still just lingering. There's a note throughout this that I've been trying to pinpoint before I say it, because I, for fear of saying the wrong thing, but I, I think it's ginger. I think there's a ginger thing happening. It's not, it's not big. It's not like punching the other um, elements out or anything, but I think it's ginger. This is a good bottle, guys. One more little sip for the road. So much brown sugar. All right, that's all she wrote. Thanks for hanging out with me while I discovered this terrific little no age statement uh, dram. I'm glad I picked it up in spite of the no age statement. And I'm probably gonna have a little bit more tonight. So, as I always say, if you like what I'm doing here, then please do the following three things. One. Comment down below, Aaron, yay or nay? Should I uh, stop for the 18 year old? Why wouldn't I? Across the board, the prices of this stuff are so good. Um, <clears throat> anything else you wanna tell me about Aaron? If you have a favorite Aaron, tell me, and if I can get it in the province of Quebec, I'll take a look for it. Now that Aaron is finally in Quebec again. Um, also, port finish, yes or no? Because so far the only two I've seen in the SAQ are this and the port finish. Aside from that, share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And third, third, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's okay. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys. So good!